Welcome to my Vermont long trail through hike attempt gear list video. So if you're into ultralight backpacking, you've found the right video. If you're into the Vermont long trail, you've discovered the correct video. My base pack weight is going to be around eight and a half pounds. Let's just bust out the big three right off the bat. I have a Z-Pax Arc Blast backpack. I have a couple of backpacks that I own. I chose this one for the specs. It is only 17 ounces. It holds 60 liters. 60 liters is a little much for the Vermont Long Trail, but it's so lightweight, comfortable, and uh, I purchased this on a whim on a internet flea market website. Next, let's go over here to my quilt. I made this quilt myself. The bottom has a little cinch for your foot, uh, foot box. It's elastic. Outside is camo. The inside is this yellow material, which is a little more comfortable. I have two no uh, low profile clips. And inside of this quilt, I'm gonna be using my C to Summit Silk Sleeping Bag Liner. That only weighs four ounces. The inside of this quilt is synthetic as opposed to down. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that. My big three, my tent is my Big Agnes Fly Creek Ultralight 2. The stakes are just what I had lying around. I got four of these guys, two of these, an old repair splint from Big Agnes from my first two Fly Creek 1s. They're all gonna go in this little bag. Uh, I have an umbrella. This has over 4,000 miles on it. In this case, I'll be using it for rain. Um, but this silver material reflects the heat and the sun away, so it can be used for sun as well. Uh, my sleeping, uh, pardon me, my quilt and my liner are going to go into this little, you know, grocery bag. And this little gossamer gear, one eighth of an inch foam pad, it gets rolled up and it gets put into this umbrella bag so it doesn't get dirty. Um, I'm thinking about wearing my... Ultra Lone Peak 3.0s. Uh, they have maybe two, 250 miles on them, so we'll see how this works. By the way, I'm starting my hike in Massachusetts and kind of working out the kinks and loosening up for a couple days before I hit Vermont, so hopefully that does help. All right, so I think I just touched up on the big three. Now let's just come over here. My trekking poles are Lecky Legacy. Uh, these are my girlfriends, my sweethearts. Mine have been broken. I wore out the tips, busted them off. Food storage. I'm going to be storing my food in something called a lock sack, op sack. Odorless. It's kind of like a big Ziploc bag. This one can hold three or four days worth of food. Over here I have my puffy uh, jacket. It's made by Uniglow. It's not an expensive brand and this is still very lightweight and insulates perfectly fine. 8 ounces, half a pound. Over here I have my Frog Togs emergency jacket. This actually has a hood. Uh, some of your wind and rain shells can be very expensive. Um, this is only 4 ounces, so this is going to be a test of what this is really like. And it has a hood so it can double with this little REI beanie. Uh, I have two pairs of dollar store socks. I'm wearing the third pair right now. Uh, I'm probably going to resupply my sock game as I go but I want my socks to breathe as opposed to being something wool causing blisters. And here's a pair of shorts that I'm gonna be using uh, to hike in or when I do laundry, but I'm also gonna be wearing these kind of pants. This material right here is a quick dry material. Um, and my laundry here is all going to go in my laundry bag, which doubles, or which is a mosquito head net. Uh, there are black flies in Vermont. Um, and I hear they can be bad. I've done my research this way. is like a gram or something. So just use this as, as your laundry bag or something. Just take it. <laughs> All right, over here, I'm going to call this my ditty bag items. Let's just start from the top here. This is a long trail map. This is AWOL's Appalachian Trail guidebook. It's just a couple pages because I will be starting on the Appalachian Trail in Massachusetts. Here I have a small lighter, some... <laughs> Okay, I have a small lighter. I have some little, uh, some thin rope to do a, a clothesline or tie a rain skirt or 
field repair or something. Matches, I don't know if I just said that. Some sunglasses, just what I had lying around. Headlamps, I've never been happy with over the course of all my long distance backpacking. So just what I had around, which was a Christmas gift, is a Tika XP. And also, one of the hottest up and coming items in the market is this TI3 through night one triple a battery flashlight i would take just this it weighs so minimal um there's four different settings believe it or not so we'll see what happens carrying two um this is my wallet my sweetheart made this for me on the at i carry three cards and some dollar bills in there all right now this is the case to my camera i'm filming with now which is a Canon ELF 300HS point and shoot camera. And this is the extra charger for it and the plug-in. Uh, my, all my camera gear weighs eight ounces, so half a pound. <clears throat> now let's come over here. This is my anchor battery backup. It can charge my iPhone almost one full charge, you know, about 90%. So I'll use it in, in bumps. And uh, again, I'm taking an iPhone. This is going to have gut hook to help me navigate. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm going to be taking some film equipment too, which is this and the camera I'm using right now, because I want to save my battery to look up water sources and road crossings and elevations and lodges and services. So I need the battery in my phone, whereas my camera stuff lasts for a very long time. So. Some of you will say, oh, just take your, just use your iPhone, it takes magnificent video. It does. I'll be using both. By the way, if you want to follow along, the best way would be my Instagram, which is Backpacking Health. All right, now here we go. We got the charger for this. This is just what I have lying around. It could change over the course of the, the trip. Some toilet paper in a bag, self explanatory. Uh, small travel toothpaste and small travel tooth brush. And I like these ones because they can get tucked back in like that and kept clean from sand or whatever debris is in the bottom of your ditty bag, who knows what. I have some potable aqua. I'll be using this until I pick up aqua mira, which is what I prefer to use. Uh, this is two ounces of hand sanitizer. Very important on highly populated long distance hiking trails. Here we have a Sawyer uh, insect repellent. Um, and anyways, my ditty bag is actually going to be a gallon Ziploc bag. And with that being said, I'm going to kind of fade this video out here. My water bottles, I may have a liter and a half, two liters and a half, depending on where I am or how long the water carry is. The only thing that's kind of missing from what we're seeing here is maybe a simple bandana tied to the front of my backpack to wipe my sweat in, condensation off my tent, and uh, whatnot. But we're looking at uh, the most of it. The only thing that could be missing is something with a point, like a needle to pop a uh, blister. I usually do carry a very small ultra lightweight knife, but I just couldn't find it, so I don't have one here at the moment. So anyways, eight and a half pound base pack weight, Vermont long trail through hike attempt. If you have any tips of the trade regarding gear, suggestions, uh, you know, give me a shout in the comment section below. If you like this video, let me know. If there's any way I can improve anything that you saw, please feel free to give a shout. With that being said, happy trails. And if you want to follow along on my hike, I'll be at Backpacking Health Instagram. Happy trails.